Now, I just wanted to address uh, what you mentioned about Taiwanese Americans versus Taiwanese people. And one thing that I've found very interesting over the years is that as a Taiwanese American, I think a lot of us, you know, my mom told me recently that I'm 99% American and 1% Taiwanese. <laughs> and I was like, no, mom, 50 50. She was like, no. <laughs> like, I thought about it, I was like, yeah, mom, you're right. Because <laughs> I think the Chinese Americans, a lot of us grow up the first, spend the first 20, 30 years of our life trying to figure out even what it means to be Taiwanese, Taiwanese American. Yes, that goes back to identity. Whereas I found with my like Taiwanese friends, the ones that were like born and raised in Taiwan, like they're not thinking of stuff like that, you know, because they are Taiwanese. Like we don't think about what it means to be American. Like it's, you know, a lot of things that Taiwanese Americans think about. Um, you know, it's not what Taiwanese people, so just sorry, just to give a very quick example. I still remember to this day, 10 years ago, my Taiwanese friend, because I was uh, complaining about, I was like, oh, I don't know what it means to be Taiwanese, like, what's Taiwanese, what's Chinese, whatever, whatever. And he was like, no, Don, just stop. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's like, just listen, just watch, like, you'll see what it means to be Taiwanese, you know? So I think there's a certain confidence that Taiwanese people have growing up in Taiwan they have. And so for Taiwanese Americans to care about what happens in Taiwan, I think a lot of the identity conversation, a lot of that has to come first. And that's often, so it's a different journey for Taiwanese Americans than it is for people that were born and raised in Taiwan.